and we're back to learning Premiere Pro and this time I'm going to show you how to add a film burn overlay. It's basically the same method that I've used for adding a film grain, so if you've seen that video. I'm going to repeat myself a little bit here, but I wanted to add a couple of details and I don't want to make a second part for the film grain, so I've called it film burn. In many cases, if you search for overlays, you will find packs, so it's not a short clip. It's multiple effects put into one clip. In this case, it's 30 seconds long. First problem that we've got is it's way too small for my sequence. So the footage below is bigger and we need to resize it. We can just double click on the preview window and then resize it. And in the effect control scale, we can see that 150 is the perfect size. So just type it in enter and we're good. The second problem that we need to adjust is the duration. If your pack's bigger than your footage, just use C for the cut tool, get rid of the overlap. But in some case it might be shorter. If that's the case, you can loop it, just hold Alt and then reposition copies of this clip. And in the end, once again, use the cut tool C to get rid of the overlap. And now your entire footage is covered. By the way, we need the effect control, so if you can't see that, go to Window, click on it. Now we need to pass in a blending mode. If you've got a white background, so a white background for our film burn, film grain for the overlay, you will have to use Multiply as a blending mode, so that makes the white see-through, and we can see our clip below. Let me just hold the clip, and you can see that we've got everything that's not white in the film burn, now add it as an overlay. But around here at 5 seconds, we run into a problem. All of a sudden the background changes to black. And this happens in these packs, if you download them, these certain elements might have different backgrounds so that you need different blending modes. And let me change back to normal and you can see that in the beginning it's white. And we've got this film burn added. And at some point we've got a black background right here. So a good way to deal with it is to just find this point and use the cut tool and cut it there. You can only use the first part as your overlay, or you can use both, but if you use both, you have to use different blending modes. So for the first one, it was multiply as it's white, and for the second one, as it's black, we need a screen. And now if I play the clip, we can see our footage below all of the time, and we've gotten around the problem. But as I've said, you could also just simply delete the second clip right here and then hold Alt, copy the first one and make sure that you've got your entire footage covered. So now it loops through the first part and this is fine with only the blending mode multiply. Another tip, if that effect in the overlay pack is too intense, you can simply use the opacity to lower it for example, let me cut it in half to 50%. And again, if there are parts that you don't like, just use the cut to C, delete them, and then create loops. And these are the details that I wanted to add when you use overlays, for example, for a film burn effect in Premiere Pro. And by the way, this overlay pack is free so you can download it yourself, you will find it via the description link below. I hope this video was helpful, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.